G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Today um, I've been promoting uh, mainly my upcoming exhibition for the club, for my Bonsai Club Bonsai Northwest, and I'll do this every video, so you guys, in case you miss it, the 15th, 16th of May 2021 in Melbourne, in Footscray, Melbourne. Um, sorry, I should hold that up a bit longer so you can grab any details or pause it and you grab the details. Um, this is Bonsai Northwest Melbourne. It's my Bonsai Club that I'm president of. And we have an exhibition coming up in, a, in about six weeks time from today. Five or six weeks time, depending when this video goes up. So really, today, I'm, I mentioned in previous videos, I'm trying to prepare my trees for exhibition. Uh, this is a tree, lovely little shimpaku that I'm working on to try and get it in the exhibition. It's actually quite overgrown at the moment. I'm gonna thin it out and work, go through the process of cleaning this up and getting it ready for exhibition. Um, it needs to make sure, I need to make sure everything underneath is clean, all the pads are wired out. Um, <clears throat> anything growing down, pluck it off. Rewire, reposition a lot of the branching. It's really filled out quite heavily and I didn't really keep it keep on top of it this year. Um, I just let it go uh, and um, it's really fleshed out and really gone well. There's a bit of die back here and there which I'll just trim away and, and cut away. Um, unfortunately, this angle isn't gonna be the best to do a video on. I might change different spots and then just do a little bit of a time lapse on me working on the tree rather than anything else. But really it's about, I like the shape, I like the style, I like it's a little semi-cascade look, I like the pot it's in, uh, it kind of nicely balanced tree. Um, probably could go a little bit more this way at the top. Um, I did try and put a pole in there and did bend it a bit more that way, but um, it still, still could go a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna have a look if there's any nice um, shari to work on. I can see all the bark is flaking off at the moment at the back, which is just the old bark coming off the tree. But let's see if I can, I don't know if there needs to be any more gin work, if there's any gin work available. But really, it's a matter of <coughs> the maintenance work and getting this tree ready for show. You don't, you don't want to, see, you can have wire on trees, no problem, but just don't have really obvious, big, heavy wiring on the tree. Like you pretty much can't tell there's wire on this tree if you look at it like that because I'm using copper and it's gone, that really dull, blended in with the trunk color, so you don't have that shininess there or anything like that so you know that, that's obviously the benefit but you can see the pads are all very cloudy or cloud shape really full i want the clean underneath you know the clean lines underneath the nice pads on top uh fanned out that kind of look um so you've seen that on my other trees it's it's you know i'm trying to put together a nice little shinpaku display probably six seven trees you know at different levels i'm trying to trying to figure out how i'm going to do it so if you're if you want to see a nice shimpaku display come to our exhibition in 15 16th of may 2021 in melbourne um yeah so that's 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 the promotion i'm trying to do uh, as well as work on trees so but yeah well it's all about getting ready trees ready for exhibition so i'm just going to go away and work on this tree and style it up i'll probably just do a time lapse i'm going to sit in a different spot because the sun is not doing well on this spot i think i'm gonna lose a bit of um proper lighting but we'll work through it okay i'll see you guys soon all right so i'm just sitting up here nice and comfy away from the glare of the sun um trees very healthy um good news is i had a quick look at it there's no real structural big structural wiring that i need to do so no real heavy wire all the main branches are pretty much set. So it's all gonna be about tertiary wiring, all the tertiary branches and secondary branches will have to do as well. So, no, not even secondary, I think they mostly have been set. So it's more the, the fine fine branching, you know, in other words, all the, out, all the outside branching um, it needs to be quite reduced. The, the foliage is a bit too much, very heavy on top. Um, you can see that, you probably can't see the cascade branch down here. It is a bit weak, but that's what happens with slight cascading branches. Um, they always weaken first, so, Got to clean up, thin out a bit of the foliage also to give this a bit more energy and strength um, into here. Don't feed, don't, 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 um, don't really reduce it down here. Just, just clean up the pads, wire them up like this, so it's nicely padded out. Um, and yeah, I'll just have, I'll just do a time lapse of the tree, me working on it, and hopefully you guys can see the work. Okay.
or I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I want to try and show you what I go through in terms of trimming up a branch. It's probably not the best, best tree, best branch you can see, but it's one of the back branches on this tree. Um, and um, I don't know if you probably can see sometimes, oh, it's very hard to see. I thought you, you could probably get a good view, but probably not. But we'll give it a go. Um, you can see this, this is all, uh, you probably, yeah, it's hard to see. Anyway, um, there's some branching here. I just want to show you that what I go through. Usually, see something like that's growing down. I've got so much foliage that I don't really need this, so I'll come in and cut that off. Anything that's growing down, I'll pluck, like I'll pluck off. That's why you've been seeing me pluck. And then, when when I see long growth, for example, in here, I don't go do, 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 like a hedge. I come in and find almost where the stem is, and I cut the, at the stem so that I cut the stem off. You know, not not cutting the the tips off. I just cut the stem off. The middle bit and then it, and it, I cut it back to a point where there's another little branch in, it, in its place so you know it look, looks like we're just cutting back to a to another to another little branch and that will form the new branch in the future so that's what I've been doing um, as I go through the tree so usually I do a clean underneath and then come through cut out and then wire up so that's pretty much been the process unfortunately the, the, the sun's not helping but um, yeah I'll keep going All right, guys, so I finished all the wiring that I need to do. Um, probably not the best three in you know, a two-dimensional look, um, but if you see it in person, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, but if you want to see it in person, come down to our show, yeah, 15th to 16th of May, 2021, uh, at Footscray, if you're in Melbourne. Um, I'll um, always put the details down in the comments below of the exhibition, but I'm also showed you the poster, but I think it's come up beautiful. This branch looks a bit out of whack here, but it's actually towards the back because you can't see it. See how it's towards the back? You actually, when you see a two dimensional view, it doesn't look right, but in three dimensions, it looks a lot better. So, there you go, guys. It was simply a matter of, you know, wiring out the tree, thinning it out. Um, I tried to do a little short video you just saw towards the end of how I trimmed back a little bit, but it was a bit hard to see. But you pretty much trim, trim out, like you'll see the top growth going. You come back and trim the branch, like you go in and trim that middle branch out and have the sub branches become the new branch. It's very, it's not like trimming a hedge though, it's actually going in and trimming each, going into the branch, trimming out the bit in the middle. Um, hard to explain, but that, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, also pluck everything underneath, so you see all the nice clean lines now, pretty much throughout the tree. So it was a real bushy tree before, now it's come back quite nicely. Um, yeah, as I said, Two dimensionally, this tree, this branch looks like it's too far out, but it's actually towards the back. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks good. It's come up really well. It'll be a, it'll be in the exhibition for sure. Clean up the pot, uh, get it all ready, and there's another one ready for the exhibition. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that one, um, and I hope to see you at the show. See you guys. <laughs>